What's up guys? We've been working a position here at the gym, doing a lot of videos on something we call arm ride. It's a version of uh, a position within side control, right? Just having your shin controlling and trapping someone's arm. We're going to show a variation of that today called arm trap. Uh, it's just what we call it. Maybe you call it something different. This is kind of like a crucifix in a way, but with the several submission attacks from here, we're going to go over those and then uh, doing some other videos today that kind of ties it all together. So kind of look at our uploads and, and playlist uh, for arm ride and piece it all together, okay? So typically, like let's say you're passing the guard, we do this shin trap here. This is what we call arm ride. This is what we call arm trap. Okay, so from arm trap, I can just put my head under his, uh, my uh, foot under his head like a pillow here and come over. There's the arm lock, okay? So kind of watch how I just went from, so this is arm ride. This is where we've been playing, attacking. We've got a lot of options from here, okay? I just kind of set on my hips, almost like a Kesligatami, right? Um, so when you do this, pull that up. You got the pillow style, shin in, arm bar, right? Also from here, if I can switch this knee from this side of his head to that side of his head. I also like to keep his hand over there for the bicep crusher. Okay, so here, moving my knee, it's on this side of his head, his shoulder rather. I'm going to move it here to where his body's at, like that. Sometimes this will turn into a little bit of a wrist lock down here. There it is. Okay, so you got arm bar, you got bicep slicer. Then you got a triangle arm bar, right? And there's lots of other stuff hanging around here, guys. You just got to um, watch all the videos or go to the gym and work on it. The discovery. A lot of this stuff, uh, I tell everybody, I learned a lot of stuff that I'm going over right now from Ops and more. So, uh, really good stuff and try and piece together a system out of it. So option three and four is I've got just a regular arm bar from there with like both my legs over his face. I don't go to that straight away typically. What I do is I open this up so he'll set up on when he does that, it's going to be real hard for him to get up. I've got this arm lock and like, I'm just going to make him tap by pushing him away. Okay. Now, let's say you have more like this. You could switch back to that arm lock we were in a second ago. Okay. You could come up here. He goes to sit up. It's just a little loop. There's a good triangle choke on that one. Right. Now, sometimes you don't have your feet locked all the way. It'll be like that first situation where you push. You, you, I'm not choking him, but I've got his arm like in a hyperextension. I just push him away a little bit, and that makes the lock. Okay? So, <clears throat> this is what we're calling arm trap. His arm is trapped between my legs and underneath my leg. X arm bar. Bicep slice. Triangle, arm ball, back to arm trap, right? From arm trap, we've just been holding right here a lot. Like I said, it's kind of like a crucifix position when you start tying up this other arm and stuff. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.